Hi everyone! Um, so I'm making this vlog from the car um, because I figured that I've made enough video vlogs from my room, my house, so uh, something different. Um, I just got back from seeing uh, Devin Townsend opening up for a band called Gojira and I had never heard of Gojira before and I'm really glad that I went to see um, this show. Devin, um, well, where do I begin? Um, I I was looking forward to this show ever since I knew that Devin was going to play um, and I really underestimated how big the show was going to be. It was actually sold out by the time I got there and so my last hope was to stand around in the cold for two hours waiting for somebody who will come by and sell tickets because people do that sometimes they just... Is that somebody standing there? No, I'm just being paranoid. Sorry about that. Um, don't worry, I have pepper spray, but, um, yeah, where were we? Right, um, sorry, um, yeah, I get off track very easily. Um, yeah, so I completely underestimated how quickly this show was going to sell out, and it was, it was completely sold out, I got there, nobody had a ticket, so I made a post on Facebook, very sad, saying that unfortunately I couldn't make it to the show. And what happened was, um, a friend of mine, Kyle, saw the post and messaged me on Facebook saying that he had a guest plus one, and I could be the extra person if I needed a ticket, because I, I couldn't get my hands on one. And so, obviously, I, you know, I said, yes, please. So he saved me. Thank you, Kyle, for that. Um, it would have been a complete disappointment if I was not able to go. I was a little bit irresponsible with this, because I just instantly assumed that, um, that I could find tickets at the door. I just completely thought that it's possible to just go there and buy your ticket at the place, but apparently not. You you should have ordered it online, full. But yeah, what can I say about the show? Just wow. Um, Devin was beautiful, as usual. Um, they started off by playing Super Crush, which is my favorite song, the one I danced to. And Devin and Anik, Anik, I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I, I butcher names, I'm sorry. Um, they both saw the video and they both liked it, so it's just like, inspiration mind blown i'm i'm so inspired i love it when when i dance to a band's song and they see it and they respond to it it just makes me feel so you know good and inspired and motivated most of all so um they started off with that song and i was just standing there just uh completely enjoying it and i really wanted to dance but i couldn't uh. Yeah, I get that way when I hear certain songs. I just wish that nobody was around so I could dance. Um, and yeah, so they started off with Super Crush. And um, after that, I really, really wanted to go to the front. I really, um, that's what I do when I really love a band. I just go and stand in the front. Um, I don't care how many bruises I get on my ribs. I love to stand in the front and headbang. Um, but unfortunately, for some reason, it, it felt like every um, topless drunk, sweaty douchebag in Vancouver decided to just get in the middle and punch people. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't go to the front. Um, I just went up and sat on the second floor part thing like a lady and I didn't really want to do that. And I just watched those topless weirdos and judged them from up there, all, you know, evil eye. Um, but it was really disappointing. You, uh, those are kind of the people that ruin shows really not not add to it but i got to meet some amazing metalheads which always happens and um that's the thing about the metal scene you know the the really annoying people and the ones who just punch everybody in the mosh pit those are the ones everybody thinks are you know the metalheads but they're they're amazing people out there just um when alcohol is involved it's very hard to point out all the good ones um, but yeah, um, and Gojira, wow, I, I had no idea how heavy these guys were going to be, I, I didn't YouTube them or anything before, I just wanted to get surprised, and I was just, I had no idea, honestly, how heavy these guys were going to be, and because I was up there and I could just sit there and focus, um, I was just, uh, you know, able to just sit there and listen to the music, you know, not be distracted by people headbanging and, and 
nearly crushing me against the metal bars. And um, I, I really just listened to it and I thought that the songs are really danceable. There's so much rhythm in the songs. The music is so technical, but that just makes it so much better to dance to. So for all of you Gojira fans out there, and there are many of you now that I know, um, uh, there will be Gojira belly dance videos coming, definitely. I love, I loved it. It was just amazing music. And, um, Devin Townsend was just so amazing. That, Devin was who I went to see. Um, so humble. It's really amazing to see artists like that nowadays. Um, where, you know, in a world where any artist, as soon as they get some recognition, are just like completely, they think they're some kind of god or goddess and... Yeah, something's messed up in their heads probably, but I'm better about it. Um, I just love seeing people who are humble. It just makes me feel so much better. It makes me feel like the CDs I bought and, and all the support that I'm giving them and all the inspiration is worth it because this person is not only a great musician, but a great person as well. And that matters a lot to me personally. I can't separate the art from the artist, really. So that's why it's a huge disappointment when a band that you really love or a musician that you really love end up being a-holes it just hurts but Devin amazing uh, I just I he did exactly what I would expect him to do just the interaction the funniness the good energy um, so I'm just so glad I went and I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to go in even though like I, I already pretty much gave up on finding a ticket and uh, that's about it. Yeah, I just wanted to make this vlog and I, I'm pretty sure that is a serial killer standing there. It just looks like that through the screen. I'm recording this on my iPod, by the way. I really hope that the quality is good enough. Um, it better be because I'm going to share some of the footage from the gig. Just a little things, you know, little things here and there so that you guys can see who Devin is. Most of you already know. And uh, who Kajira is. And most of you already know who they are. But uh, yeah, support them. I will leave their links below. And I myself will be on iTunes tonight. Uh, hunting down Kajira. To see what they have. Because their music is really impressive. And um, basically if this video goes up. That thing was not a serial killer. But just this image in my head. Of a serial killer. Standing right outside. Um, but yeah, if this video goes up, I'm alive and I was just imagining things. Um, yeah, this is another messy video, but I will be making more vlogs like this. So, as I said before, um, on Facebook, uh, I will try to upload, um, maybe every two belly dance videos I upload or every one belly dance video I upload, I will upload a non-belly dance video. So, be it like a slideshow of photo shoots or videos like this, complete mess, <laughs> or videos, you know, vlogs of me in the studio. These are just considered video vlogs, basically. Um, so, uh, just one last thing. Um, two last things. <laughs> after this, I will upload this tonight. And after this video, I will upload a belly dance video that I did. Um, and then after that, the belly dance video, I will upload a video blog of me in the studio, which has some funny parts. I hope you guys like it. Um, I just love sharing with you guys more than just you know the professionally done videos it's just it's a lot more interaction like this and the very very last thing thank you guys again i haven't said this enough um for all the support all the amazing comments i read everything i'm moved by everything and i honestly to this day can't believe the amount of just amazing amount of support that i get the amazing comments just you guys are amazing and i have some of the best people supporting what i do and uh, you guys just keep me grounded. I really believe that, um, completely unrelated to what happened tonight, but I just feel so thankful. Um, I really feel that the reason why I have so many people behind me is not because I, I'm what I'm doing is amazing and, you know, whatever. But I think that it's just because I, I'm kept grounded. And people like that. People, people like artists who are there, who are, who are you know, accessible and and not only accessible online but also just emotionally and that thing is moving <laughs> i'm so distracted <laughs> forgive me that thing is so creepy I, I don't even want to turn around what is it i think it's just a shadow it's so weird when i look at it it, it looks like a person standing 
but then when I turn around, it's it's just a shadow. Um, but yeah, back to the thing. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm I'm just so honored, and I can go on for hours. Um, you guys make my day. You guys motivate me to continue doing this, and um, thank you uh, for supporting not only Mavsun but Fo as well. Um, you just yeah, I I love this. So you guys, if you um are not already on my Facebook page, please go there and a like would be totally appreciated. And if you guys want to follow a little bit of my personal stuff, like my cat and random daily photos, things like that, that are not very professional, they're just more personal, um, feel free to add me on my Facebook account, which is facebook.com slash Mavsun. And my page, which I would highly appreciate um, a like, would be facebook.com slash art. Um, I will leave all those links below, and, uh, shameless self-promotion. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I will add some, uh, footage from tonight, um, to this video, so that you guys can see. Um, this is going to be a long vlog. I'm sorry about that, but I, I don't really do cuts with the vlogs. I, I really like to just ramble on. I'm a woman, obviously. But yes, uh, I wish you guys an amazing day and night, wherever it is that you are, and I uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Who here is ready for Gojira? Well, let me tell you a little something. Before they come out, you have to prove not only to them, but to us, that you're worthy of the crushing that ensues and that involves a little something I like to call jazz. And they're going, no fucking way am I doing jazz hands, man. I'm not gonna do that shit. <laughs> but you're gonna, and you're gonna love it. You know why? Because you're beautiful people and I can sense that you're willing to cooperate, all right? Show me your jazz hands. Go like this. It's like a sea of really weird butterflies. I'm gonna give you a bit of a tutorial. The song is incredibly weird and it's called Lucky Animals. I don't forget the crowd. And it goes like this. You guys ready? Let's show these guys how to do it. Okay, go like this. So tell me if you want